Hey guys, uh, this one shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to continue on with our surface area stuff. Uh, and I got two shapes to show you today, uh, pyramids and cones. So pyramids are going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. So um, a couple things that uh, are just a little things to note to you guys. Let's say this is five inches. This is six inches and they're going to give you this distance this time. And we call that a lateral height. Um, it's literally the altitude, but it's on the side of the triangle. So it's not the one that goes from the center to the base. It goes from the center or I'm sorry, from the apex to the base. It goes from the apex to the outside base of the triangle. So that one is um, pretty cool um, as far as like the lateral height. Um, and when they give you one lateral height, you're to assume that that's the lateral height for the entire thing around it. Um, so that's kind of nice. So we're still breaking it into shapes. Um, so I have one rectangle. Oh, I need to grab my calculator. One rectangle that is five by six. That's this bottom one. And then the only thing that's really different here is that instead of having a lot of rectangles like we did with prisms, we're going to have a lot of triangles, right? Because there's triangles all around the outside of this thing. So <clears throat> depending on the shape on the base, uh, we'll tell you how many of these rectangles or triangles are going to be the same. So since this is a rectangle, we're going to have two triangles. Um, that are six. Oh, I didn't even give you a height here. Let's say it's 10. Six by 10, one half times six times seven. One half base times height. And then we're also going to have two more triangles that are one half times five times 10. And this is where that gets a little fuzzy. Obviously, it doesn't specifically say that this side is 10 that's on the 5 side. So if they give you 1, you just assume that that's the height for all of them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then obviously, we're going to do what we've already done. 5 times 6 is 30. There's only one of those. So we're good. Half of 6 is 3 times 10 is also 30. But there are two of those. So that's going to be 60. And then half, that's going to be 25. Uh, and there's two of those. I didn't need my calculator after all. And then we just add 30 and 60 and 50 is 140 inches squared. So pyramids are going to work the same. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a triangular pyramid. In fact, it's going to be exactly the same as this. Um, it just... Break it in the shapes, find the area of those shapes. Cones, however, are kind of, oh, excuse me, are kind of like the cylinder where they're kind of tricky. So I want to show you a cone. <clears throat> and let's say we have a radius of eight meters. And just like in the pyramid, we're going to have like a lateral height. So they're going to give us this side this time. And this side is going to be 21 meters. Right. So that's what they're going to give you for this, for a cone. Um, so when we're talking about breaking this into shapes, uh, I think that everyone can agree that we're going to have one circle. That's the easy part. And that's obviously pi r squared. So pi times eight squared is there. Now this other part is really interesting. It doesn't really make a shape that we think of, um, but the best way to describe it is it's a baseball field. It looks kind of like this, and then it's round on the outside, and it goes back together. Now think of this baseball field and you actually put it, wrap it around, and you can see how it's going to make this cone shape here. Um, to find the area of this thing, 
I usually just call it the round middle. I'm partial to round middles. So I just call it the RM, round middle. This thing is pi times the radius times the slant height, which is, I don't know why it's L <laughs> and like length, uh, but it is pi RL. So that's what they call it. Uh, so pi times the radius times the slant height. So this round, round middle is going to be pi times 8 times 21, like that. And that's it. Uh, for cones, that's the nice part. Even though it has something that you kind of need to know, obviously make sure you take that, uh, put that in your notes so you have it for your test. Um, but it's always just going to be one circle and then that round middle part, the sector, if you will, uh, that's here. So, a little bit of math. Uh, 8 times 8 times pi gives me 200.96 and then 3.14 times 8 times 21 Oops. and I get 527.52 and then I just add those up So the surface area here is 728.48 meters squared. And I think me and Trevor were talking about this, but if your answer is a little different, I am using 3.14 for pi. If you use the pi button, your answers are going to be a little bit off. On your test, that doesn't matter. You just got to be close and you'll be fine. Uh, those are really the two shapes I want to show you today. Uh, the pyramids, cones, that's how they all work. Um, this is the last instructional video, you guys. Last notes. Um, we'll still have a, a video next week of, of going over um, going <clears throat> over the uh, review packet. Um, just a heads up, I am going to be out of town Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, for a wedding. Uh, my wife's father is getting married. So Wednesday I won't be here for um, office hours. So if you guys have questions, make sure you send me an email or a remind, and I will totally get back to you uh, and help you guys out. But otherwise, I have no problem answering those. Obviously, I'm here for you guys. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions with any of that. Our last test is a week from today. And uh, yeah, should be ready to go. Awesome, y'all. See you later.